This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'm going to show you how to fix a four-way switch system. A four-way switch system is going to have a three-way switch at the first position where the power comes into the system and it's going to have a four-way switch in the middle position and it's going to have a three-way switch where the power goes to the light, the cable right here going to the light. So the situation here is we turn this one on, it goes on, we turn it off, it goes off. So that's good. We turn the middle one on and off and on and off. So these two are working great and we go over to here and we turn this one off and that works fine. But then you go over here, uh-oh. That one doesn't work, that one doesn't work. Nothing works. When this one is depressed on the bottom, the other switches don't work. It's a pretty common situation. You turn that on, and all of a sudden these, these work again. So you turn this off, and they don't work. Okay, so that's a pretty common situation with a four-way switch system, and it's just not working right. So right away, because when this one is depressed on the bottom, these don't work. Uh, I would suspect this switch to have something wrong with it. But instead of going straight for this switch and working on this switch, I'm going to do a little more thorough testing and I'm going to go over the whole system and show you how to fix it, how to troubleshoot it, and what to look for. The first thing we're going to do is test out our voltage sensor. And you see that this cable is live right here, but what we're mainly looking for is to see that the voltage sensor is working correctly, and it is. And we have the light on, and so I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker, and you see the fact that the light just went off is an excellent indicator that you have turned off the correct circuit. And also, we can test this cable right here that we just tested previously, and that's off. So that's two tests. The light bulb is off, and our voltage sensor is not showing any electricity in the cable. These happen to be screwless wall plates, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off. These come off just like this. Then these are the backing plates. I'm going to take these off. Okay, now I'm going to take all the switches out, and we're going to be testing the wires. I have all the switches out of the box. We're going to do another test right now. I'll go ahead and put my voltage sensor in here and make sure that the electricity is off. Now I'm going to take all the switches out and we're going to be testing the wires. If you have mud rigs on your switch boxes you won't be able to take them off but I'm going to take them off to increase visibility for you so you can see what's going on in the box. Once again I'm going to check now that the switches are out I'm going to check and make sure that nothing's hot. Check as many times as you need to check. Just make sure the electricity is off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check and make sure the proper switches are in the proper boxes. So on the first box where the power comes into the system, you have to have a three-way switch box. So over here, you have two bronze terminals, and you have a black common terminal and a ground terminal. So this is a proper three-way switch. You know, you might, you might find a regular standard single pole switch in here. You know, you might find a four-way switch over here. So, it's, it's good to check. The switch in the middle box has two black terminals on one side and the green grounding terminal. And on this side, it's got two bronze terminals. So, this is a four-way switch. So, we have a proper three-way switch here. We have a proper four-way switch here. And this one here... We have two bronze terminals and a black terminal, a black common terminal, and a green grounding terminal. So this is a three-way switch. So that's our first check. Make sure we have the, the correct switches in the correct boxes. Three-way switch, four-way switch, three-way switch. So we're good so far. The next thing I'm going to do is just make a general check and see if all the wires are tight and see if, if any of the wires are broken. 
Okay, they're all nice and tight on that switch. They're all nice and tight on this switch. These are commercial spec grade switches and they give you the option of going around the terminal or using the what they call the back wire system where the wire is clamped to the switch terminal with this screw. And sometimes if the installer puts the insulation under the terminal, it won't be tight enough. And that'll cause a problem where it's loose. So that's something you can look for. Okay, nice and tight, nice and tight, 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 tight. So all our connections on the terminals are good. We look for uh, broken wires, loose connections. Okay, everything seems to be good in that regard. I'm going to take off all three switches. So I've removed all three of the switches. I've left the ground wires on though because we're not really testing the ground wires right now. It'll be faster to hook this back up if you leave the ground wires on. I have put Wago lever nuts on all the wires for safety. And now I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the line wire. I'm going to look for the wire that brings the electrical energy into the box, the one that's hot all the time. Okay, the circuit breaker is on right now, so we're looking for the line wire. Okay, there's the line wire right there. Okay. Not that one, not that one, nothing back in the back of the box. Okay, this is the line wire. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that right here as the line wire. So that's the end of that test. Now we're going to turn the circuit breaker off. And we test this again, and you see the circuit breaker is off right now. Okay, so our next move, now that we've found the hot wire, that means by process of elimination that these two wires are traveler wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and I do like to use Wago lever nuts for these kind of testing because they have ports where you can uh, test with your meter without taking the, the Wago lever nut off on both ends. They have ports. So, and also they're, they're really easy to to work with. Okay, so I've hooked together temporarily, I've hooked together these two traveler wires right here. And we're going to go over here. Now the circuit breaker's off. And we're going to find which of these two are the traveler wires. Hey, this is my fluke voltage meter. And see, we've got these two traveler wires hooked together. Now we're going to find out which of these two pairs is the traveler wire. So I'm going to turn this to continuity right there and I'm going to try the first pair. Okay, this is the pair right here. These are the traveler wires that go over here. See if I would have put them on this pair there's no uh, continuity bell or alarm so this is not the traveler wire pair. So I'll just take these, I'll put them over this way. And so this, this black wire is this black wire. This red wire is this red wire. See, it just runs over there. So you have identified the correct pair that is the traveler wires that, that come from this box. Okay, I've taken off all of the Wago lever nuts and I marked the wire that went to the common terminal okay and that would be the load wire it's not necessarily correct because remember this is the box where the switch wasn't operating properly so this is suspect but I have it marked as load because it went to the common terminal uh, before we took it apart but we're going, to, we're going to make a test right now. We know that these two wires are traveler wires because we tested it. So now we're going to test out these two wires. 
I'll put them in the Wago lever nut. So we know that these two wires are traveler wires that go to this box. This, by process of elimination, we know that these two traveler wires have to go over here. The question is, which two are the traveler wires? Now, the way it was hooked up on the switch, these two wires were the, the traveler wires, but there's something wrong. Okay, I've got the meter uh, set to continuity. So these two should be the traveler wires by how it was set up, and it's not. Okay, so that, that is the problem. Okay, so now we're gonna try this. Okay, so we have continuity between these two right here. So this is not the load, that's a traveler wire. Okay, so we're gonna take this off. That's a traveler wire, that's not the load. This is the load here. Okay, this is, this is your load wire. All right, so let's, let's try that again now. Uh, we got these two hooked together, these two traveler wires and we're checking to see if this pair is the traveler wire pair. And yes, it is, we show continuity. So that was the problem. This wire was being used as a traveler wire and this wire was be, being used as the load wire that goes to the light, but that wasn't correct. By test, this wire and this wire are traveler wires and this is the load wire. So we're ready now to uh, hook this whole system back up and it should work properly. So I'm going to start over here on this box. I'll put the load wire to the common terminal and tighten that down securely. Okay, this switch says top right here. So you put the where it says top on top and the ground wire is on the bottom. So I always put the red traveler wire to the top bronze colored terminal. I always put the black traveler wire to the lower bronze terminal. Put that right in there. And I'll tighten it down securely. Okay, so that's switch number one. So now I've got two pairs of traveler wires here. This is the one coming into this box. And this is the pair of traveler wires going to the, the last box. So the ones going in are going to uh, go to the terminals that I have marked as in, and these two will go to the terminals that are marked on the switches out. Here is the four-way switch that we're going to be installing. The top two terminals are marked in, and the bottom two terminals are marked out. I'm going to have these two traveler wires going to the terminals that are marked as in, and I'll have these two traveler wires going to the terminals that are marked as out. Okay, so I always put the red traveler wire on the top. That's just my preference. That's, that's the way I do it. And I suggest you do this the same way each time. It, it really helps in troubleshooting and it helps to uh, make all your three-way switches in a house operate in the exact same manner for the occupants. All right, so those traveler wires are red on top, black on bottom. These are the ones coming over from the first box. Red traveler wire to the top bronze colored terminal. And the black traveler wire goes to the lower bronze colored terminal. Okay, and Okay, this is the line wire. We have it marked as line. The line wire goes to the black common terminal. With the ground down and where it says top up, we're going to take the red traveler wire and hook it to the top bronze colored terminal. And then we're going to take the black traveler wire and hook it to the lower bronze colored terminal. And we'll tighten it down securely. Give these all a nice tug to make sure they're good and tight and they're not going to come out. Now I'm going to put on the mud rings. Normally I would put them on a little earlier before we put the switches on, but I wanted to wait to the last possible moment so you, we would increase visibility. So these go on like this. 
I have secured the mud rings and the switches and the screwless wall plates and I've turned the circuit breaker on. So now it's time to test out our four-way switch system. Okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. Let's try out all the different combinations. Turn that off. Make sure these work okay. Okay, turn that off. Make sure these work. Turn that one off. Make sure these work. Yes, sir. Everything works just great. So there you have a repaired four-way switch system. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the new Klein five-piece insulated tool set, and for all the individual tools, I'll put a link for the DeWalt cable stapler, the Klein 8-inch fan, Leviton spec grade three and four-way switches, and for Wago lever nuts. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.